Now, when you have somebody who has a brain involvement, they have a stroke, they've had a traumatic brain injury, they have MS, they have whatever. Their motor recovery is proximal to distal. So when I'm moving someone's neck and all of a sudden I see distal recovery, more than proximal, I already know it's related to the neck and the peripheral nervous system. Because the brain would have it that it would go proximal to distal. I wouldn't see this until after the shoulder and elbow were far along in their recovery, the hands were ready to come. That is a um, golden nugget for anyone who is working in the neurological practice and struggles between, is this motor recovery central nervous system, so I should expect it proximal to distal? And I should make sure my baselines are looking accordingly. Or is this really somebody who's dominated from the peripheral nervous system motor recovery? And I will see that distal to proximal. And I should set my baselines accordingly.